Okay, so we have a four-year-old patient uh, presenting to the emergency department with sudden onset of noisy breathing. She had an, a runny nose for two days. Her mother thinks that the cough is getting worse with more breathlessness. The girl suffers from eczema and is allergic to nuts. She is fully immunized until now. On examination, oxygen saturation is 98 in air. Temperature is 38. There is loud, noisy breathing with barking cough. There is supracostal and in intercostal recession. On auscultation, there are no crackles or wheeze. Otherwise, the cardiovascular examination is normal. So I'll give you five seconds uh, to pause the video and come up with a diagnosis as well as an, 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 an initial management. Okay, so the diagnosis is croup and the initial management is with oral dexamethasone. So let's go through the options together. Uh, so we've got anaphylaxis over here. Uh, can it be anaphylaxis? Uh, not really because that would be more sudden and the patient would have kind of rashes uh, he, and hemodynamically unstable or even uh, progress onto fainting. So we can rule that one out easily. Epiglottitis, we can rule that one out because uh, we are told that she is fully immunized uh, until now. Uh, patients who are immunized uh, are less likely to get epiglottitis. So we can rule that one out. Inhale, foreign body. So uh, in this case, if it was uh, in her foreign body, then we would have sudden development of cyanosis. Um, this, scen this scenario would be more sinister. And the foreign body that is most likely uh, taken is peanuts. So we can rule that one out easily. Uh, can it be pneumonia? Uh, possible. But then pneumonia wouldn't present with relentless barking cough, as would croup. So we can rule that one out easily. In terms of management, uh, you cannot obviously reassure and discharge because the, the patient is breathless, breathless and at their having a relentless barking cough. So you can't do that. We, uh, can we give antihistamine? Uh, I understand why some people would go for this one as she is allergic to nuts and it may be that uh, she presented with allergic reaction to nuts and the fact that she suffers from eczema uh, but then uh, that is highly unlikely in our, can, uh, in our case so we can rule that one out easily. Adrenaline uh, this is interesting because adrenaline or epinephrine is actually second line if the oral dexamethasone does not work. Um, so, but then we have the option of giving oral dexamethasone, so we can rule that one out. Antibiotics. Uh, antibiotics is mostly for bacterial infections, uh, but then croup is caused by parainfluenza virus, so we cannot do that one either. So let's learn a bit more about croup, or the other name is laryngotracheobronchitis. So the clinical features include uh, barking cough. Uh, please do YouTube this and see it for yourself, how it looks and how it sounds. We've got hoarse voice, strider, and croup typically happens in patients between the age of six months to five years. The pathology, as we said, it is caused by parainfluenza virus. Investigations, so it's mostly clinical by just simply observing the patient. Uh, as we said, they have barking cough. Then uh, the upper airway of a child with the strider should not ideally be examined. Uh, to look, for example, for tonsillitis, 
and the child should not be upset by performing painful procedures such as blood tests as there is small risk of complete obstruction of the airways which is something that we definitely do not want to happen then we've got the management so as you said the first line treatment is oral dexamethasone that will uh, dampen down the inflammation going on and it will uh, kind of get rid of the, any swelling that's happening in the airway that's potentially blocking the airways if they are still deteriorating as we said we give them epinephrine however if further deterioration happens then we intubate them and uh, we then do ventilation to secure the airways okay so that was the end of it and uh, i hope that was useful